On my 1987 300E, the front parking lights don't work. The bulbs work, the rear parking lights work, which means the switch works. If you have a similar problem, you might want to check out the illumination control module that's N7 in the circuit diagram and check the solders. Watch this video and you can see how I took care of my problem. Just remove the cover to the fuse box and then the six screws and you can take off the entire top giving you access to the relay box. That's the lighting control module I have there. Just be careful the weather strip above you stops you from removing it easily. There is a plug at the front, a plug at the back, and the centre section of the box plugs in to the bottom of the relay box there, so you don't have to remove those. But this is old plastic, so gently, gently use a screwdriver to pop the plug out. You can see I'm doing it very gently, taking my time, trying not to hurt it. It'll come there. You know what? Just grab the big boys and get that out. Next, you want to attend to the plug at the back. I found this particularly awkward, as you can see, and it took longer than what you see here. Hello, baby. Once you have the unit out, grab a thin bladed screwdriver and just pry the edges of the casing back and slide an old business card in there to stop the tabs closing back on themselves. Uh, I didn't show it here, but you will need to pry the ends of the unit out and then it will slide up quite nicely without any trouble at all. And then of course, you want to hold it just right so it looks good for the camera. There we go. Once you have it out, grab your phone camera and zoom in and you can see cracked solder right there. That one as well. Then you can see smooth connections you'll be able to tell the difference pretty easily if they're there. These are all the pin-in solders. There are these ones along this side, and I'll turn it over in a second, and you'll see the ones on the other side. Those pins right there, the eight, that's for the headlight section. The pins on the left, the seven, is for the tail lights, and all the pins in the middle are the inputs from the car the current flows into them and then out via the side plugs. You can see the broken solder there, damaged for whatever reason, heat cycling or thermal cycling over the years. There's good solder, nice and clean. And at the end here, you will see another cracked piece. Next thing you want to do is reflow the solder joints. You'll need a soldering iron, the solder, or solder as the US citizens like to call it, and flux, which is like a honey type of liquid you just dab onto them before applying the solder. I used lead solder in this application because it was likely to match the original solder used on the device made around 1987. Now I then check all the pins for continuity. You can hear that now. Now you don't touch the top of the pin, touch the edge where any likely cracks would interfere with the current flow. If you get continuity, then you've done a good job. Putting it all back is just reverse of what we've done so far. There are the plugs that sit at the front and the back of this unit, they can be nestled down into the bottom of the box in line with the main series of plug connections. You can just set them up and then press it down gently and you will have it reseated. Then just grab anything else you took out, whatever that module is there, I can't remember, and place it in there. Nice elbows. Once they're in, 
test for your parking lights. Yay! All done.